I used to love a double quarter pounder with cheese. Um, I still do, but here's how you can make a burger that's even better at home. First, get on the struggle bus and try to open up a package of ground beef. Once you do, get that into a bowl and you're gonna get that into four equal parts. But just remember, no two burgers are equal, but these parts are. At any rate, smash them about five times. This is called creaming. And this is going to make sure the burgers have a nice consistency once they cook up. Do that with all of your pieces of ground beef, or I guess mounds, and form that into balls that look something like this. And make sure that they are seasoned up here. I'm using salt and pepper. You can use whatever you like. Just don't use anything too crazy. And get that pan nice and heat it up. Yeah, look at those blue flames. Don't forget to toast your buns. I, I did this on the griddle, not in the, uh, not in the toaster oven. You could do it in the toaster oven, whichever way works best for you. I'm just keeping them warm in the toaster oven. Also, it's not on, so I'm not burning my fingers. Oh, need cheese, and pickles, and sauce, and tomatoes. Um, this is what you get when you don't remember to put everything out. So remember just to have everything out on the counter ready for you to build your burgers. Otherwise, you're gonna be doing this crazy balancing act. This is dangerous. Um, well, thanks for that PSA, Eric. So get that all laid out as well as a cutting board to build your burgers and some parchment to help with the smashing of the burgers. So get the burger balls into the pan, then cover it with those pieces of parchment and then next, you are going to smash these down. You can use a large spatula, you can use something heavy. Here I am just using the heaviest thing that was closest to me at that time, which was a bottle of sake. If you have a burger press, that actually probably be even better and I need to invest in one, but I digress. Use something heavy to smash those burgers down and then they're gonna look well, something a little like that. That's going to make sure every single part gets cooked. Season the other side as well with that salt and pepper or your crazy seasoning. Once they are looking ready to flip, flip them. It's gonna take about a minute and then it's going to cook about 30 seconds on this side. And once you get them flipped over, why don't you lay on some American cheese or whatever cheese you prefer. Here I'm going to take some of that burger sauce and place it on one of my toasted buns. I'm also gonna place some tomatoes and then I'm also going to put some pickles onto that burger as well. You can really top it with anything that you like. Just don't top it too crazy. It's gonna make the burger too tall and it's going to make it really hard to eat. I think that's just right. Now I'm going to stack my burgers and then I'm going to take them out of the pan and move them right onto the actual burger buns. Here, let's admire it for just a second. It's looking white and beautiful, but we're actually not quite done. A few finishing touches, and that's with some caramelized onions. You don't know how to make these? Check out my video on what to do with prime rib leftovers. You won't be disappointed. Get those onions on there, all nice, and then give it a dollop of that special sauce because you are a special boy or girl. And then top it with your bun, and that's beautiful. Okay, we have our smash burger and it's a lovely little guy. Nicely browned patties, you got that melty cheese, special sauce, pickles, tomatoes, and caramelized onions. I sound like a McDonald's commercial, but I guarantee you, when you make this, it'll be better than McDonald's. Let's go in for that bite. Oh, mm -hmm. A juicy bite. Mmm. I've cooked many things, and there's still nothing quite as good or as satisfying as a smash burger, especially when you make it yourself. You can do it just as good or better than a restaurant. That's something that I've experienced so many times. I think you definitely need to experience yourself. 
So please make yourself a smash burger. You won't be disappointed. But until next time, YFP out.